Har, what a lovely day to be shipping my sales seas of science. I don't know. Hello guys, I'm Nuke Keo, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario and the Dows Near Your Door. In the last episode, we found that out that um a uh crystal star is on a distant um island, so we're gonna be sailing with some pirates. We also had um Miss Mouse join our party. So you know that she's there. Anyway, hi. Monetary wealth gave me free gives me freedom. Yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it a man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more hair? What is missing from my life? This tears my very insides. I must know what do I do lack? Romance. Totally romance. Romance, you say? Ah. I suppose one does need some romance in life. What are sweet, delectable fruits could make, could make such so many wonderful pasta sauce? Ah, no, fools, Flavio! Not romance, you silly men. What I need is romance. Wait, hold the horses. That is it. What is it? Romance? Uh, I'm I'm personally not interested, but thank you, though. Now that I'm thinking about it, I once heard the tre of the treasure of Cortez, the pirate king. Yes. This is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for a pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks of romance and frills and emotion and even money. Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure, hidden on Key Hall Key. Ah, well, tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his hold of pirate booty there. Oh yes, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search for the loot. But not a single one of them has returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. People have whisper people here whisper that the ghosts of Cortez attack all who seek his treasure. Yeah. It's because of those very rumors that people no longer go to key all key. This voice is going to destroy my throat even more than um the the bad the bad guy from the the, the, the fighting plate. i I am blanking. <laughs> But that will not stop, Flavio. That treasure is there. Yes, I'm going to prove it. Or I'm Flavio, traitor extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. What is that you are saying? You are also looking for a treasure here in Rogueport? Totally. Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in the stole on bit of a town. You cannot be, really be believing such stupid rumors about treasure some street urchin spewed out. No, 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 no. Now what madness comes busting from your mouth? You have a treasure map, yes? W well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. You're having a joke on me. This map leads us straight to Kihol Key. You swine! You mean to steal a treasure out from out of me, my, you awful, awful man. <laughs> no, totally. Well, now I am confused. You're looking for tr things called the Crystal Stars? Oh, yeah. But now that I'm thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hold. Perhaps I can sell for a straggling amount of cash? Yes, that would be... Ah, such such flaw, that Flavio. What you need is romance, frills, and emotion. I cannot ignore what business before me is just justice. This must... this... Uh, this must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Key Hall Key. Of course, that crystal star is yours, yes. But the rest of the treasure is mine. Huh? You mean to repeat that? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship. <laughs> you unfortunate foolish man. Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready for you in no time. It will be glass of and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Now let's begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader. Yes, and you will be captain. Ah, danger adventure tickles my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. Oh, man, this... My throat is going to hate this. Hi, Luigi. Hope your thing doesn't include pirates or something that will murder my voice. So, um, yeah, let's go. Hi, pirate bomb people. Wow, that's a big boat. That is a very big boat. Hi. 
It's okay, I can swim, totally. See, I made it all the way here. Hi. Ah, yes, so it's you, huh? Well, sadly, a slight problem has seen to pop up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion, the, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance. None can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty. She is a savage beast on the water's tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can. Ah, yes. Did I, did you speak? Yes, yes, of course. The problem ha that has spun up. I had completely forgotten about it. Yes, as Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the issue. We have no navigator. She, he, he ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest rank hailsman. He serves ships, you know. Now, here's the real problem. The warriors around Keelhaw Key are definitely dangerous. We need an absolutely skilled hailsman for our navigator. Is it how you say a pickle? Hey, Flavio! Hell, you're talking about that, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papatch. You can solve our problem, then spill it all. It's already. Blah, 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 blah. Well, sir, I've heard a lot. I heard talk of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in Roport. Yeah, I think he's called Emerald Bombery. A salty old sea dog by all counts. But he is said to have the hailsman touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. The thing is, there ain't a soul worth seeing of him in sea ease of late. Ba 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 -sa boom Problem solved. Oh, jeez. Let's scout this bombery fellow and get him aboard. As it's customary, my captain will handle all new graces. That would be you, Mario. That does sound a bit fair to everyone, does it not? I mean... I, okay. Then it's decided! You must find this bombery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. Oh, I don't know how long I can keep that up. Um, you seem interesting. Who? How are you? Uh, pleased to meet, um, your acquaintance. <laughs> hmm. You know, that's, that voice sounds weirdly familiar. Or it's just kind of strange. I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know how long I can keep up the that voicing. Whew. Man. How does one get to a location, location, location? O only by the power of um, Junior, of course. Anyway, I believe we need to get over here. Hi, how are you doing? The other day I saw this guy jumping from roof to roof. Man, he's so dashing. Well, you know, actually, you know, I've been a bandit. Maybe that's why he's sneaking the chimneys. Chimney sneaking? Now that just sounds mean and not very healthy, to be honest. Though, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's fun. Ow. H hello What do you blokes want? Hi. You seek Admiral Bombery. Never heard the chant. Take us such someone else. Now, away with you. Are you sure? Okay. Well, I'll just go out the airway. Don't worry. I'm sure he doesn't mind us taking the sign sprite. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess this isn't the person we're looking for. Sorry, I just wanted to try out the chimney sweeping. I don't know. Um. So, I guess we'll go search around more. I don't know. He found someone who matches Bombery's description but claims he is not him? Strange. I'd ask someone who's knowledgeable about the neighborhood about this. Man, I gotta go find people and talk this stuff about them? Gosh. I mean, I guess there's that guy in the back alley. Maybe he knows something? Hey, you know anything? Hey, you. Yeah, old chumpy. So you made it to Twilight Town? 
Hey, we got all problems to deal with, you know? No, you don't. You know nothing. How dare you know nothing? You're no help! You're no help! Okay, can't. Actually, yeah, I might be able to make that, actually. Um. Yeah, I should. I should be able to make that. Um. Maybe. Yeah, just barely. <laughs> There's a shine sprite there. Could probably upgrade Miss Mouse or Flurry. If I want to. But none of that. We got we got we got to find people and do the things and the stuff. Well, I mean, it's probably not a good idea, but who knows? Hey, it's this guy again. Good to see you. Why are you making that suck lemon sucking face? You gotta be positive or you ain't got rescuing any your dame, pal. Show the enthusiasm. No, he does no no, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bobby? The LT dog lives in the east side town right next door. They say he was a great important sailor long ago. Okay, well, now we know it's Bobbery, but you know. Oh, I already asked him if he wasn't really any help. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm pulling their card trick today and making tons of loot. Somebody's starting telling me off, so I came out here. Oh, yeah, no, you. you you already said that. You're using the same dialogue. I mean... Hmm. I'm getting... I don't know what to do! You know, now that I think about it, there's probably... Like, some dude in here. I mean, there's a, there's a party looking dude here. Maybe he knows something. For a bum bum blowing up and is like, like, drawing a f punch for an ordinary old... Ordinary bloke. If you want to leave the biggest impression, you gotta do it with perfect timing. Your mom said that once about the, once you learned that timing, you're finally an adult bub bum. Hi, huh, mom. Um, you? I mean, bartenders usually know stuff, right? Totally. Hey, what's up, man? Admiral Bomery? Yeah. Yeah, I know him. You know that house just past the wall in the eastern part of town? That's his. I, get, I think both you and he would be better off just like, no. Ah, I cannot speak. Okay. None of your help. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, we we know your Bombery. Please. I honestly I didn't even think about going back to him after figuring it out. Drop the axe, stupor stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Bombery. <sighs> a poppycock. Tell me, what would you want with me if I, I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look for someone else. Somewhere else. I shall sh sail upon the sea nevermore. But that's just not cool. You want to see some, see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get safely to kill Hulk Key. Awfully sorry, dear boy. But when I say no, what I mean is no. Gosh. I, uh, okay, fine. Gosh. What's the next move, Chief? That salty dude is going nowhere fast. I can't figure this guy out. What's beef with the ocean anyway? You know what you gotta do? Go find someone else who knows that d this dude, dude's deal is. I feel like I'm going out of order of where I need to go for places. Yeah, I was going off order. Wow. See, I knew something was up here. I just wasn't doing it in order like I remembered. <laughs> you say Bomber you won't go to sea, huh? Well, I can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure that Bo one, you want Bomber back on the rock water? <laughs> oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to kill Hulkie? 
There are seeds out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. No old bobbery, though. The fact that there is. Admiral Bomberry's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell you if you want. I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. I hate sad. I honestly do hate sad stories, but you know we need we need to do this anyway. In the case, get ready. Bomberry's tale of woe it goes something like this. Bomberry was once married. He had a wife. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love. The sore of love restored for fairy tales. Now, Bomberry was a renowned sailor, so he had was always away from, from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited for faithfully for Bomberry's return. And Bomberry, sighs, I never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could. It was all good for a time. And not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew. But it soon turned serious. Bomberry, at sea out of his long, lonely voyage, knew nothing about his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bomri, of course, blamed himself. My li loving life perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. I can't imagine what, what that poor man would drew. No wonder he won't sail. He all knows tail now. So tell me, do you still want to return to the sea? <sighs> we have no choice. We, we need to go, or, you know, a thousand-year-old demon's gonna murder us all. Very well, I understand. If you're not that determined, I'll give you this. On our deathbed, Scar Scarlet wrote Bomberry a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him, so they may hear my voice. It was her last request. And when I saw Bomberry in misery, trying to get forget the pains he as he mourned for his life, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please. Take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bombery. Thank you so much, Podly. We'll deliver the letter, don't you worry. Ready, Mario? Let's deliver this letter to Bombery. Hey. What? Oh, my blabbertons be a nut to you again! No matter how many times you intrigued me, my stance is fun. Now away with you! Pardon? Hilarious say. F for me? <laughs> what? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting! Scarlet, my love. My love. If you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has set between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you are reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sleek Bombery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are the one with the sea, as you were once with me. Do not lose both your life's loves. Time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. A, a, a thousand pardons, but m may I have a moment alone, if you please?
Yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Now then. You're looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Kiyoki. Oh, yeah. <sighs> if you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Bombery, wonderful. And with that. Oh, 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 wait, what? <laughs> the ship's in the harbor, hmm? I must expect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. And with that. We've got Bombery to our side now. And next time on Let's Play Paper Mario and the Dead on Your Door, we'll be heading off to sea for Kiyohoki and the next Crystal Star. I don't do this on purpose, I swear. What? What, <laughs> what even is this? <laughs> oh, it's Petuni. Hi, Mario. How are you? I'm, uh, good. No, very good. No, great! Lots of stuff has changed here. Oh, but not the Elder being mad at my brother. That's still the shame. same. I do wish you'd come back and play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away, like a place no one's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun. I'm jealous. Well, if you come back to... Uh, if you have time to come back here, you come play with me, okay? You have to promise. From Batuni. That, that... What? What? That's an egg. Why, why do you have an egg, Petuni? I don't understand. Why Why does she have an egg? I'm so confused. Next time, let's play Pure Morning that doesn't need a door. We're gonna try and ignore the egg and go to kill key. Cause I don't even wanna know. See you guys then.